All right, so working on, this is the 657 that came out of the uh, 95 GTX. The whole thing was I rode that a couple times, didn't get a video of it. I've been away from videos for a while, but uh, I ride, rode this thing a couple times and uh, it ate about three quarts of oil. So uh, I knew the inner seals and the crankshaft went out. So I'm gonna rebuild this motor. I got all the new parts on the way. Uh, I got the crankshaft for it. I'm gonna get this first done, split the case, and then put a crankshaft in new crank seals. And uh, then I could do the uh, top end with a new piston kit. I'm gonna split this open right now and show you what sucks about this $14 or $10 gasket set or $10 seal that makes this entire motor garbage. One thing is when you split this case, you don't ever want to go where the mating surfaces are. There's a little spot here where you can fit a crowbar or a screwdriver in here. You don't ever want to shove it right in here. This is bad. So don't uh, mar the surfaces up. So I just use this little spot right here and I just twist a little bit just to get it open. Should be one on the other side as well. I think, and yeah, there is. Oh, look at that. My son didn't take the bolt out. <clears throat> Unbelievable. Okay. What'd you do with the... I just did what I was told. Oh, here it is. Well, I told you to take all the bolts off, didn't I? <laughs> You're right. Let me see here. I gotta get this one out real quick. I should double checked. Now in the future, I hope to have another impact gun. Mine walked away somewhere. And I do everything manually now, but you know. Probably your other son. Probably, he probably sold it or something. <laughs> the 720 that I'm gonna build is going to be sick. Got the engine builder ready. I'm gonna dump about $700 of machine work into it. That's the 720. Anyways, okay. So back to this here. I should be able to split this right here. Okay. Now. Everything on this is going to be trash, except the uh, case. So I'm not worried about the crankshaft. In fact, you should have seen me taking off the crankshaft or the uh, PTO last night. What a disaster that was. I broke a monkey wrench trying to do it. There we go. Okay, here we go. So, you can see a lot of junk in here, and I'm not going to lie to you, this thing was sitting in the rain for about a month full of oil too so I wasn't worried about it but here's what we got now here's your uh, seal retainer right here this is uh, what keeps the seals on the crankshaft where they need to be okay but why don't you look at this right here these little seals right here these are the inner crankshaft seals and when these go bad the oil inside the rotary, uh, inside the rotary case here, it'll it'll start drinking oil, it sucks it right into the in the combustion chamber. No good. What I'm also noticing right now, and I haven't even noticed this. Wow, look at that! The rotary gear actually slid over on the crankshaft. This is supposed to be centered, so that tells me right there that it's probably this seal that failed, because. Uh, yeah, that thing's wedged up right against this seal, man. Shoved it right that way. And it ran until I parked it, so that was running that way. Here's the top half of the case. Uh, it looks as if the rotary gear is intact. Nice and smooth. Um, no chips on the, on the gear, the brass gear. The brass gear is designed to strip off if something bad happens instead of ruining your crankshaft. That's a $36 piece, that's a $300 piece. So this rotary gear feels really good. In fact, I'm surprised that it is in the condition it's in with the gear that slid way over here. That's, that's not good. So uh, this crankshaft right here is garbage. And uh, I'm gonna put it on eBay as a core because people rebuild these. And I actually can't rebuild these or don't rebuild these, so I'm not gonna worry about it. I'm gonna put it on there as a core. The bearings are all still good. It's just the... Uh, just the rotary gear and the inner seals. This one doesn't want to come out. There it goes. All right. So yeah, there's the rotary gear. That's a problem right there. If those seals didn't fail, and that was uh, 
not eventually that would have failed that would have you know wiped out that gear or it would have took off the edge of this so somebody that knows how to rebuild these can, can I mean all these other bearings are good on this crankshaft they're, they're not bad let's put it that way they weren't knocking so um, they're all good you just put you know new bearings on it where you go and they can repress this where it needs to be so what I'm going to do is I'm going to clean this case out I'm going to clean it all up and I'll show you the new crank uh, shaft the rebuilt or used refurbished crankshaft I have that's going to go in here and um, I'm going to touch up these surfaces here with some light sandpaper, clean them off, put a bead of Permatex on here and put that back together uh, so that the case mates together. There is no gasket there. They're precision machined so that they go together at the factory, uh, you know, perfect. This has never been split apart. I can tell there's no Permatex on here, so I put a light coat of Permatex and that keeps it from drawing air into the, uh, the crankcase. So, there you go. All right, so on this, here's the one that I got on eBay, which is uh, in good shape. It's just been sitting a little bit. It's dusty and dirty. You can see the gear here is right in the middle. So the seals are appear to be in good shape. Um, problem is, now here's the problem. I didn't realize this. The guy put the PTO on this crankshaft, or he left it on. I don't know how he did, because you've got to take that off to get the case apart. So I broke a uh, pipe wrench last night and it took four guys to get this off with an eight foot cheater bar off the, the engine. Now, if that's on here that strong like this, I don't know how I'm gonna get that off. Um, I gotta get this off in order to finish this. So I might have to go to Chris's house with the tool I ordered, which goes in the end here and it's got a nut on the end of it. I might have to put that with an impact and try to buzz it off. I don't think this is on this tight, but Ah. Ah. Yeah. So that's where I'm at right now. All right, so let me show you the biggest pain in the ass on this project. So we first we cleaned out the cases. You know, I got them all nice and clean, shiny, scrubbed. And then now I got to chisel off the original factory head gasket that obviously has never come off here. So what you got to do is you got to sit here with a razor blade or a pack of razor blades. And you got to sit here and shave this off without cutting into the metal, you know, you see like this, it's like filleting a fish, you know? And you take pieces off like this, it kind of sucks actually. But once I get this done, then I can, uh, you know, hit it with some light sandpaper. You can see all this I've already taken off over here. This is all pieces and I'll sand it off and I'll clean it out again. It's kind of a tedious process, it kind of sucks. Look at the salt here. That was what I was, look at this. I mean, it's, but I can still get more salt out of that. My gosh, still got more gasket there. But anyways, so when I get all this done, I'll sand this off. And I got, here's my uh, crankshaft seals, Titan Performance Parts, found them on, I forget where I found them on, Amazon or eBay. You got the crankshaft seal on the PTO side, the mag side, and then the rotary valve. And here's a spoiler alert. I am not taking this rotary valve out to replace that seal, so this will make the uh, engine fail for a six cent seal right there, but whatever. So now I gotta figure out how to get, look over there. Now I gotta figure out right here, I got the bottom case cleaned out, I got the, you know, the, the deck is nice here. I can't get this PTO off, and I'm not putting this engine together to turn around and use it you know, put the cylinder on, stuff it with a towel, and use this with a pipe wrench like I had to do with the other one. I'm going to have to brace this somehow safely and put an impact on here and get this off. I got the tool coming today, but the mailman sucks. So he didn't show up of all days. Today he didn't show up. So, thanks mailman. A little bit of white paint makes it look a little bit nicer. You missed the spot. Did I get it? Yeah, it looks all right. Looks a lot better than what it was. Yeah. We could always hit it with a second coat, you know. All right, it's all the time I got. I got the cases painted. As soon as that part comes in for the PTO, the spline with the uh, hex on it, I'll go ahead and impact that off the new crankshaft, and we'll have this bottom end together, and I'll show you that. And uh, we can start on the top end. That's on order already. So thanks for watching, guys. More videos on the way. Sorry, I've been, uh, I suck. But uh, hey, look. 
bed plate's nice and clean, ready to go. Let me hit that with paint real quick, and that'll be the foundation of the new motor. See you later, guys.